turned out to be such a damsel in distress. They were all dead. Love kills. Did I love her? Was there a choice? The past is a gaping hole. You try to run from it. The more you run, the deeper, more terrible it grows behind you. Its edges yawning at your heels. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. We are at the sea. Repeat, we are at the sea. But it's like looking down into the grave of your love. Check the area. Hold your fire. Or kissing the mouth of a gun, a bullet trembling in its dark nest, ready to blow your head off. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs. Get him to ICU. He's, He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. When I woke up in the hospital earlier tonight, I thought it couldn't get any worse. I opened my eyes, and everything slid into focus. She was dead. I was hurt. My crime, what I had done, was like a hungry pit behind me. I had to run, get as far away from it as possible. The world was out of joint. I was hallucinating. I had to get away. There was a blind spot in my head, a bullet-shaped hole where the answer should be. Call it denial. I wanted to dig inside my skull and scrape out the pain. Freeze, NYPD! Found him! He's one of them. She's here to kill me. Back off, Payne! Winterson! You're not going anywhere. What happened out there? You did it. Eternal Affairs is breathing down my neck. Did you do it? You killed her. No, I can't. Ah! Oh, bullshit. running in circles until you fall back down to the same hole you were trying to escape from 
only the holes grown deeper. I had tried to run from it, edit it out. Winterson was dead. I was a murderer. A false start. The hospital bed wasn't the beginning. It was past the point of no return. The fatal choice already made. And it would get worse before the end. The past is a puzzle, like a broken mirror. As you piece it together and you cut yourself, your image keeps shifting, and you change with it. It could destroy you, drive you mad. It could set you free. You, inside, drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. You'll see the choices you didn't know you'd made, like staying at work late to chat with a friend, instead of hurrying home to your family. Fan out, people. Circle around. Cover all the exits. Kissing her, I think of the cold laws of cause and effect. Bear those extra units! Call the central! We need every available unit here now! I am afraid, but I start again from the beginning. Trace my own steps to the scene of the crime. I had wanted to be punished for what I had done, but Alfred Woden had kept his word. With his influence, ridiculously, I had emerged from my history of violence unscathed. A hero. I didn't thank him. I couldn't stomach it. I left the DEA. I went back to where I had started out. Back to the job. The NYPD. Reported shots fired in the warehouse there. Acknowledge. It's mine. I'm on it. 10-4. It wasn't a call for a homicide detective, but I knew the address. The warehouse belonged to Vladimir Lem. He was connected to organized crime. We went back a while, like brothers caught on opposite sides in a civil war. His words. I need backup. Unknown number of armed perps inside. Possible hostage situation. 10-4, backup is on its way. I'm going in. With no way to deal with the past, I kept my eyes on the road, off the rear view mirror and the road kill behind me. I chased lesser mysteries, other people's crimes. NYPD! Whoa, easy officer, easy. Just cleaning the place. Come on, officer, it's all legit. I work for the squeaky cleaning company. You didn't hear anything suspicious just now? No, no. Oh, wait! <laughs> you mean the gun workshop upstairs? Take me there. Move. Sure, officer. If that's what you want. After you, detective. Oh, detective, I've got something for you. Cover me! The perps were masquerading as cleaners. Often waiting at the van. The hardware's been bad. As soon as the guys get Jackie Brown in there taken care of, we're done. Okay. I'll get you! Die! gun storage, but it had been cleaned out. The answering machine had a message on it. You've reached Annie Fitz. I'm not here right now because I'm building some nasty things that kill. So leave a message after the beep. You have one new message. Sweet Annie. Flood here. To be a gun in your gentle care. Ah, man can dream. Sorry I couldn't be there as promised. Something's come up. Nothing to 
worry about. Keep an eye out for trespassers. If anything happens to you, anything comes in. Just whistle, and I'll be there. Enough chit chat. Finish her. Wait! The mob guys attacked us. I have no beef with you guys. You took them out. Listen, I work for Vladimir. Honey, you work for no one. Uh, what do you want? We we can. NYPD, drop them. Finish her. Oh God, no! Like all the bad things in my life, it started with the death of a woman. I couldn't save her. Come on! Finally! Hey! Mona? Max, we gotta stop meeting like this. Mona! If you think nothing can get to you, you're lying to yourself. At best, you're temporarily dead. A lightning bolt can reanimate you without a warning. My backup had arrived, but the cleaners were slipping away, making a run for it. together on this you got sloppy pain you screwed up it's unacceptable that she's dead you can do better I played it as business as usual but everything had changed the moment those elevator doors opened to reveal Mona Annie Finn was a licensed gunsmith licensed dealer in firearms right the property owned by Vladimir Lem three groups one DOAs who had connections to Russian OC identified as Finn's employees Two, the Mafia. And three, the clowns wearing the cleaning company jumpsuits. They mentioned a name, Kaufman. This one's evil. It has only started. I don't like it. I don't like it a bit. It's yours, Payne. It makes no sense. For you, Winterson, homicide. Sebastian Gate. It's going to be all over the news. The senator? Winterson was the ideal. What the job was all about. Someone to look up to. Bravora knew it, too. We got lucky. There's an eyewitness. She hovered over my shoulder, whispering warnings. I didn't want to listen. Mona was the suspect in Winterson's case. I didn't tell them I had seen her. I wanted to stall. Maybe it was because she was alive when everyone else kept dying on me. Survivor's guilt washed away. Detective Winterson's phone. Give me that. Your boyfriend. The computer search on the squeaky cleaning company and Kaufman had come up empty. 
I needed to talk to Vlad, get his version, be the bearer of bad news on Annie Finn. Vlad had bought the old Ragnarok nightclub. He was renovating it into a trendy restaurant, vodka. Mona's appearance had triggered a dislocation, schizophrenia. I felt elation, but with it, fear that all the past evils had come along for the ride. Vlad! Max! 911! Bad guys with big guns! They've got me pinned down at the entrance hall! Could use some help! Could use it now! I had to find another way to reach Vlad. No time to call backup. My case had a life of its own. I got in through the back door. Memories of my previous visit here lurked in the shadows. A musty smell under the coat of new paint. Ladies and gentlemen, allow me to present Max Payne, New York's finest, with the biggest mobster body count ever. Dearest guests, prepare to die. Max, I'd love to come and welcome you, but I'm busy dodging bullets and hiding under a desk at the moment. Vlad, shut up and stay alive, I'm coming. You heard him. He's coming for you. Max, these white guys are really lousy shots. You should have no trouble taking them. You Max Payne? Afraid so. Max! I'm Mike, Vladimir's friend. You are the sheriff. Uh, how about making me your deputy? Let's go bail out your boss before he talks us all to death. Let's ride! They asked for it. Just follow the trail. Jesus Christ, apocalypse now! Got some heavy shit here! Tone it down! <laughs> Winterson would have found a way to do this nice, neat, and clean. Logic told me backup should be on its way. Someone must have heard the gunfire. Logic was such a liar. Vlad wouldn't be able to hold on much longer. Die, Russian! Fucking die already! You're not even trying! Hang on, Vlad. Max! I'm coming. Oh, it's not pain. Not him. Fuck, fuck, fuck! What are you waiting for? Circle around and kill him! Kill the cop! My hero! You saved my life! I could kiss you! Vinny Gogniti, a criminal mastermind? He is wiping out everyone he sees as competition on the black market gun trade. The Mafia underboss has made a deal with someone powerful. <laughs> 
What was it you did for a living again? Scouts are detective. I have mended my ways, evolved to a higher level. Vodka will be the best restaurant in the city. I'll be rich and famous. Annie was a princess. They killed her for no reason. You hurt your hand just now? <laughs> a hot date yesterday. Can I tempt you? Let's pretend I'm on duty. Home, sweet home. Something in the night felt like a door had been opened. An echo of the past. An old monster snapping its eyes open in the depths of my brain. Closing your eyes forces you to look at the darkness inside. And now, a dress unknown. I hadn't slept in a long time. When I did, my dreams were nightmares. I was trapped in a nightmare. My evil double had taken my girlfriend. In a nightmare, every choice you make is a wrong one. Following him, I had somehow slipped into a twisted alternate reality. Noir York City. I would wake up at night, afraid that day was a dream I'd forget. My double was John Mira. He was the devil incarnate, a fallen angel. The flesh of fallen angels. He was a serial killer. He had framed me for his murder. I descended into a mystery, desperate to catch him, to find my girlfriend. To save him. We need to hit the place now. Payne's in there. They know that you know. You must run. Max Payne! Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head! This is your final warning! Run, Payne, run! We are gonna shoot! Break it down. So to kill. You don't need a lawyer. Just tell us what you did. Pain, you're done. Everything you say will be used against you. What are you hiding? She's alive, isn't she? People get near you, they die. You killed your family. You killed them all. Confess. Do I get my phone call? You already got it. Don't push your luck. Sit down. We're just getting started. Hey, sit down now. Don't get any bright ideas. Put it down now! <laughs> Clear in a dream suddenly makes no sense. No surreal rescues, no easy, magic way out. But you are awake. I had woken up to a knock at my door. Mona, I was wondering when you'd show up. Max, I'm not here to kill you. Aren't you going to ask me in? You are in danger. Both of us are. There's a contract out on us. 
There's no us in this. You're a murder suspect. I should take you in. I was hiding behind the badge. The real thing is never what you think it will be. Sniper! They found me. This was a mistake. Wait, Mona! She had woken me up. She had come and gone, and now I was being shot at. I had to catch her, find out what was going on. Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more gunmen behind the door, closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Something was barring the door from the other side. They jammed the elevator. Oh no, you won't! Get out! Get out! No one's driving me out of my home. Careful with that gun, lady. The detective from 304? I have another gun like this if you need it. I didn't want to shoot. He gave me no choice. This is my home. I have a right to defend it. Okay. Let's see that shotgun. Come in. Thank you. My pleasure. Hoodlums. This used to be a nice neighborhood. Lock the door. Don't open it for anyone but the police. Up there on the ledge. He's up there. Kaufman wants us taken care of. Let's just find a guy so we can off him and go home. I had found the sniper's hideout. The room was full of surveillance equipment. They had been spying on me for days, weeks, months even. My every action observed, recorded, analyzed. The place was the proof every paranoiac dreams of. Home is where your heart is. Simple. Not like in a movie where the hero gets a chance to disarm the bomb. Once upon a time, it had been a house in the suburbs. He opens the door, and boom! Now, nothing was left of it. I wasn't happy about the way the cleaners were doing their job. Winterson. It's me, Max. I'm at home. Sniper outside the window. Sounds like more coming behind the door. Closing in. I need help. Max? Oh, okay, hang on. We'll get you out. Who's after you? Can't talk. Don't know. Gotta go. Leave a message. Hey, where are you? You're late again. Look, this insomnia crap isn't fooling anyone. I know what it's like. I, I just want to help. You should come to an AA meeting with me. Thank you for calling Dangerous Liaisons. For Candy, press 1. For Sandy, press 2. For Mona, press 3. You press three for Mona. Hi, this is Mona. What's your name? I just need someone to talk to. Honey, this is a phone sex line. All we do is talk. Right. It's... How do you fix something like that? How do you make amends? I thought it would help, but it only made it worse. Just give me your credit card number and I can listen to you all night. Killing them all only made it worse. It didn't bring them back. Hey, what are you, some kind of weirdo? Sorry, this was... Sorry. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my... Take that! I wasn't going to get through without the code. Behind the door were the suites. 
They weren't an improvement on the regular apartments. They're crazy. Hell, they want to clean me out. Hey, ah! bitch! Thanks, fella. You saved me. They barred the door from the outside. This is terrible times. The tyranny of cleaners. Right. Any other way out? Up the roof, maybe. With the pigeons. You need the code to the seventh floor. Ed knows. You know Ed, the janitor. Poor Ed. These crazy cleaners have invaded his turf. Night. It's a late goodbye. Hey, hey! NYPD. I need the code at the seventh floor door. Sure, sure. I know it. I know it. Wait. Oh yeah. Six six seven. <laughs> Neighbor of the beast. Get it? Yeah, I get it. explosion in my apartment and started a fire. The flames couldn't burn away my past. They only made the shadows behind me leap higher. I had to get down to the street. Mona had come through here. The dead cleaner's a sign of her passage. Fun starts. Yeah, no sweat. <clears throat> Used to be on a job. <laughs> I was a cop like you. All right, follow my lead. Open up. There are people trapped in here. Oh, the sons of bitches have locked the door. Are you coming to my rescue? Something like that. We need to get out. You could probably get out through a window on the third floor if you can kill the flames. A girl's got to protect herself. I'll take care I'm of this. I'm Violet. You stay put. Violet, baby. <laughs> I'm Come man. on, we're moving. Thought you'd never ask. you got to get me out of this. Your place is mine. Hey, you do your job, then afterwards, maybe I'll do mine. There he is! They hit you home? It's like a friggin' kindergarten out there. What next? A kid with a bag full of guns and a head full of video games turns the house into a shooting gallery. Breaks my heart. What the hell's going on? With me, he meant. I had my doubts about the cleaners spying on me. About Mona. According to Vladimir Lem, the mob captain Vincent Cogniti, 
is behind the hits. Seems he's made a deal with an unknown third party. Maybe the cleaners. I don't know. Something doesn't fit. If it's true, I've been added on Gogniti's list. I came close to lying to Bravura. I told myself I needed to find out the facts first before others could screw up the evidence. But that was an excuse. Mona had gotten under my skin. I couldn't close my eyes to any of it anymore. It was more important than the job. She had tried to reach me, left her number. Risky leaving your number at the police station. Trace the call and you'll see I'm talking to you from Hong Kong. Winterson. I'll give you my address. Make sure you're not followed. Max, what's going on? What do you mean? Don't do anything stupid. Mona's place was a closed-down funhouse based on a 90s TV show. The show's cancellation had been the kiss of death to it. as a way of sneaking up on you. You'll hear broken echoes of it everywhere, like a bad replay. You get mad at everybody for reminding you about it, even if it's all in your head. When entertainment turns to a surreal reflection of your life, you're a lucky man if you can laugh at the joke. Luck and I weren't on speaking terms. Or maybe the place was just too lame to be funny. When I'd first met Mona, her twin sister had been killed. It must have felt like madness, schizophrenia in reverse. Your other self suddenly falling silent. We had both lost our loved ones. Now I'll tell you one thing, Mona, you're no singer. You've switched tactics. We need to talk. Bring me a towel, will you? Now that you're here, you can watch my back while I get dressed. All she had told me was that someone wanted us dead. The way she was acting, I was the only one in danger here. You have to give me a lot more than that. The inner circle. What of it? The secret society is after everyone who knows of their existence. Come off it. Prove it. I have a contact inside. He's willing to talk. Alfred Woden? No. Anyways, I can take you to him. She wasn't telling me the whole truth. Let's go. The circle goes back to the centuries-old Masonic cults. Corruption and assassinations reaching all the way to the presidential level. Right. And here I was, thinking conspiracy theories had gone out of style. We're here. So are they. I'm the only one handling a piece here. Which floor? They're after him. The elevators work with the apartment keys and from the desk here. They've jammed most of them to the floors they're on. The guards set off the alarm before they were killed. We need to do this fast. Shouldn't we just wait for the cops? Here, so we can stay in touch. You operate the elevator from here and I'll go I'll up. I'll go up. You're the man. I have the floor plans in front of me. I can guide you through. How come you're alive, anyway? I saw you take a bullet to the head. Maybe it's still there. Keeps me focused. For this to work, I was gonna have to trust her. Let's get to work. Cleaners ahead and to the left, guarding Corcoran's door at the opposite end of the hall. Walks across the room, slow. Taking a time like she... It's playing! Ah! Oh, fire in the hall!
The door's locked. Try the door on the far right, next to the large painting. You can get to Corcoran's place through the balcony. Well, that's just it. What you don't see is that we are... Stop! They're cleaning other apartments as well. Corcoran said that other inner circle members live in the building. Found a body, a thin guy in a suit. Not Corcoran. He's a big man. Fat. I'm in. Gotta look around. Nothing here. Check upstairs. I'm going upstairs. Yeah, it's ever been. Kaufman's orders. If and when the stars. <laughs> We're late. He's dead. You need to get out of there. We need to leave now. More cleaners in the lobby coming your way. I wasn't ready to go. Not without a single piece of evidence. In the photo, a group of men posing in front of a manor house. Corcoran was there. Senator Gate was there. So was Alfred Woden. So it was true. All bets were off. The inner circle was involved. Cover me! No doubt. Kill it! I'm out of ideas, Max. I'll check the apartment the cleaner was guarding. Why would I risk my life on a window cleaner? You're dead. <laughs> Mona, I found a window cleaner's lift. I'm headed down. Max? Yeah. I don't know. I just... just wanted to say... Damn it! Mona? Mona? Mona! Down there, he's gonna get away! Say hi to the pavement, sucker! Mona. Nothing had worked out as planned. I had to find another way down to the lobby. <laughs> Shoot!
she come to me in the first place? For help? For something she wasn't telling me? NYPD, freeze! Easy! Don't move! Payne, what are you doing? What are you doing? The million dollar question I didn't have the answer to. What were you thinking? Were you thinking at all? I was following a lead. She was helping me. She is a fugitive murder suspect, for Christ's sakes! I was trying to save those people from the cleaners. The two cases are connected, mine and Winterson's. Senator Gate was killed by the cleaners. They are connected. Winterson can have them both. She doesn't back you up. I was doing my job. I'm sorry to do this, Payne, but it's for your own good. Hand me your guns. I'm putting you to a desk job. Start by writing a report on what the hell happened on the Upper East Side. Fraternizing with the enemy, I had stepped over the edge. The cartoon moment when the gravity waits for the coyote to realize his mistake before the plunge. Get yourself to a counselor. You're falling apart. When you're ready to go to AA, come talk to me. Get your act together. And get someone in here to help me with this mess. I was mad. At myself. At Prevora. At Mona. Was she worth this? Don't envy you. The way the boss goes on about it. No use going in there to clean up. Let him cool off a bit. You better just write that report. He's on his good behavior again. Demotes himself from deputy chief to lieutenant just to stay close to the man on the street. You ask me? He loves us all a bit too much for his own good. The spokesperson for AA. He gave you that too? Gotta hand it to him though. He did beat the bottle. Something like that's gotta stay with you. It was all connected. The murder of Senator Gate, the cleaners, the inner circle, Vinnie Gognitti. I had to make Winterson see it. Winterson's phone was ringing. She wasn't at her desk. Winterson's phone. Better get Winterson. She's been kind of edgy about her calls. I think she's in the interrogation room getting a statement from a witness. Didn't she used to have the hots for you, Payne? I hear she has a new boyfriend. Getting laid would do her good. Talk about tense. They said Number one, thank you. You may step back. They can't see you through the glass. Just take your time. See if you can recognize any of them, okay? Yeah, okay. Number two, step forward and speak the line you were given. <laughs> I can't read. Just say the line number one said. You think I was listening? You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. <laughs> Stupid. You're nothing but a one-armed bandit. Thank you. Step back, number two. Number three. You are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Aren't I supposed to identify any of the men in jumpsuits? That's none of your concern. Just concentrate on the task at hand. Do you recognize any of them? Yeah. Number three's the one. Thank you. Okay, we're done. Take them away. Okay, ladies, you heard her. This way. You can wait here. Someone will come to get you once the paperwork is done. I tried to help you, Max, but you didn't listen. Now it's too late. Detective Payne, anything you'd like to add? As I was trying to tell the other detective, the place was crawling with guys in gray overalls. They sure as hell weren't cleaning the place, but she wasn't too keen on listening to me. It's hard to say who was out to kill who, but the chick I just fingered and the men in jumpsuits, they got into a serious firefight. Okay, thanks. No, thank you. They're taking the fall, both of them. Payne was with her when she was arrested. Who are you talking to? You're leaking information. Bravura's too soft on you. I was informing the proper authorities on what they should know. Stay away from my case, Max. Stay away for your own good. Everything had started out as black and white. Somewhere down the road, the line went blurry. The colors started to run, got smudged and gray. 
Winterson had been above my suspicion. It felt like a goodbye. Payne here. I need a statement from one of your customers. Mona Sachs. The last pokey down the corridor to your left. Max, you've got to get me out of here. You know I can't do that. If I stay here, I'll die. Isn't that a bit melodramatic? Behind bars, I'm a sitting duck. This is as safe as it gets. Come on, Max. Any one of these cops could be on the Inner Circle's payroll. You should know. What's that supposed to mean? You know Alfred Woden. You want answers? Call him. He'll verify everything I've told you. Okay, I'll do that. Your funeral. You've reached the voicemail of Senator Alfred Woden. Please leave a message. Woden, Max Payne. We need to have a talk. You ask me, you still owe me. Jesus Christ! A bomb? That was a bomb! Upstairs, now! <coughs> Jesus! <coughs> Upstairs, now! Something was off. Mona's words on her being a sitting duck kept playing in my head. The bomb had misdirection written all over it. Please, drop it! Oh! Armed perps in the locker. Officer down. Take him down. Find the bitch. Find her. Kill her. NYPD, drop your gun. Ah! Mona had been right. I had to go after her. I needed a gun to get past the cleaners. desk would have solved nothing. Mona had vanished into the night. Without her, I had nothing to go on. I knew where to find her. Have no fear. Vlad is here. The world was getting too small for comfort. Too many coincidences. Bang! You're dead, Max Payne. A giant-headed Captain Baseball Bat Boy costume lay in the back seat. Gearing up for Halloween? Max, dearest of all my friends, call it my Trojan horse in the war Vinny Gogniti started. Speaking of which, any news? Do me a favor, drop me off at Coney Island. Does the inner circle ring any bells? Nothing mystical about them, even if they themselves would like to think so. Just one step up the ladder of organized crime. I see where you're going with this. Gogniti has made a deal with them. What about Mona Sachs? I know of her. Her reputation as a hired killer. I hear she is a stone fox. I would fuck her. Right then, I hated Vlad. Max, I need to ask your advice as a friend. Ask. Hypothetically, if the only choice you've got is to do the wrong thing, then it's not really the wrong thing. It's more like fate. You have to do what you have to do. It's never that easy. Of course. We agree to disagree. Why was I there again? Wait! Wait just a minute! Talk to me! What are you so afraid of? What do you want from me? The things that I want, by Max Payne. The smoke. A whiskey. For the sun to shine. I want to sleep to forget. To change the past. My wife and baby girl back. Unlimited ammo and a license to kill. Right then, more than anything, I wanted her. Let's do it! You let me.
get them here. Up to my place. We can take them there. This way! The trouble with wanting something is the fear of losing it, or never getting it. The thought makes you weak. I couldn't get her out of my head. I hate this. Cleaners was a misnomer. They were making a mess of it. This is so cool. Best show ever. The hero chases his serial killer, John Mira. The fun house was Mona's playground. There! She's up there! Look out! She had disappeared back into the shadows. An intervention from above, over too soon. Sick and tired of the cleaners speeding away in their vans. I had only one chance, no time to stop and think it through. I had no choice. I couldn't have waited for Mona. It was Vlad's excuse. Fate. I didn't trust myself. Max. I'd forgotten about the radio Mona had given me. Max. I'm here, took a ride with the cleaners. I'll let you know when we get where we're going. Max. I can't talk now. I couldn't crack her. I had to crack the case. Mona, Castling Insurance Company's construction site. I'm on my way. Take it to the top floor. Yeah, with the rest of the evidence. Hey, careful with those red boxes, you'll blow us all up. I'll get the stuff from the van and meet you there. Hey, what the fuck? I thought of Vlad's Trojan horse. I'd gotten into the cleaner's hideout in the back of their van. They'd give me directions to the evidence on the top floor. And you said he'd be right behind us. Right behind is my ass. He said he'd get his stuff from the van and be right up. What stuff? What was he supposed to have in there? Whack! Ah! The dangerous red boxes the cleaners had talked about were containers filled with explosives. He went up against her and stared. <laughs> Condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Vlad had said Gugnitti was eliminating the competition. Was that why the cleaners had hit Vlad's gun workshop? The room was full of illegal firearms. Enough to outfit an army. Mona, these guys are packing. Close to overkill. Hardcore professionals. It doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. What's that supposed to mean? Who are those guys?
Like always, the dead had all the answers I was missing. It wasn't that they weren't eager to talk, quite the contrary. The dead had plenty to say. And once they started, they would never shut up. Their words would keep you awake at night. The bodies, all the evidence of all the murders the cleaners had done. All the answers. It would take days to dig through it. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't this- Go to hell, Max. Mona? Damn. This cleaner stuff's made me think. Didn't you- Hey! There he is! We got him! We got him! No! Stop! The room's full of explosives! Stop shooting! Oh, shit! Run! Run! What's going on? The building's blowing up. That's what's going on. I didn't know what Mona wanted, if it was the same thing I was after. To kill those who were trying to kill her. The bullet, real or imagined, lodged in her head routing her synapses, driving her on. She had arrived to the site while I was inside the condemned building. I don't know what went on with her. Max, I'm at the site. Where are you? A condemned building at the edge of the site, headed upstairs. I'm at the wrong end. I'll try to get to the roof to get a view of the place. Later, I'm kinda in the middle of something. Be that way. Okay, so we're breaking our backs hauling the hardware here because the choir building's not gonna exist much longer. But what are we supposed to do with the bodies? They're not gonna magically <coughs> turn to dust when the building blows up. It's gonna be a mess. The boss will figure it out. <laughs> Trust this twisted evil. <laughs> Doesn't seem that way from where I'm standing. <laughs> shake it, baby, shake it! <laughs> One look at the boss. Die! <laughs> Sometimes, Mona, you gotta go down to get up. Mona, I know this sounds crazy, but I need you to go and call the cops. I need them here. You're right. You are crazy. I'm a fugitive, Max. I just escaped from custody. I wouldn't ask if it wasn't...
Fuck Go this. to hell, Max. Bastard. Max, what's going on? The building's blowing up. That's what's going on. Max? Damn it. Max, what's happening? Throw the rules out the window? Odds are you'll go that way too. Max? Max! <coughs> this hadn't been my first fall in the night. Still, just a prelude to the real deal. Still, a long way to the bottom. Max, company. Mona, you have to take them out. Buy me time. I couldn't live without her. Die, die! Head my way. Can't get a good shot from here. I'll have to backtrack through the building to get a better view. It's not like I'm in a hurry. Do you want us to crack jokes about it? Or do you want me to go? Go. Thought so. Without Mona's help, I'd be a dead man. Suddenly, for the first time in I don't know how long, I realized I didn't wish to be dead. Looking for a window with a view. Max, the route's clear. I'm moving. Cover me. This is gonna sound like a rerun, but they've got me pinned down here. I'm on it. I'll circle to the scaffolding on the other side of the yard. I was running out of time. I kept my eyes on the scaffolding, hoping to see Mona there. Mona, it's not me, but the guys are getting anxious. They're really looking forward to seeing you. I'm worth the wait. I'll be on that scaffolding in a sec. Max, I'm here. No luck with the door. There's a gateway here that leads to another yard. I'll try that. Okay, I'll work my way through the building to meet you there. Mona must have heard the sirens too. She must not have been too happy about it.
How's the view, Lorna? Aim for the gas bottles. Locked. One last chance. There's another gate out of the yard under you. Meet you on the other side. Listen, Mona. The fun house. You wanted to talk about what happened. Yeah. Well? Well what, Max? Repeat, you're breaking up. Damn it! More commandos! Mona, can't you- Max? Max, come in. Can you hear me? The sirens had faded away. Mona must have been relieved. Some other emergency someplace else. gun is a binary choice. You either pull the trigger or you don't. Stop! Stop! Wait! Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. As surely as the bullet rips through the victim's flesh, organ, and bone, it shatters the image of the man who presses the trigger. Easy. Back off, Pain. This is what I see when I look back. These moments. Blinding as snow. They kill you. Change you. You die and live again. Remade. No, Mona. Winterson! Run! Mona! Over here! Hold it! Ah! Detective Winnison! Officer down! He went over the edge! The genius of the hole. No matter how long you spend climbing out, you can still fall back down in an instant. I had a dream of my wife. In it, I murdered her for my lover. We're losing him. Multiple gunshot wounds. Pupils blown. Head trauma. God only knows what else. He's in shock. Start two large bore IVs. Get him to ICU. Stat. He's not responding. This guy is a train wreck. We're losing him. I had chosen Mona. It felt like I had lost her. <sighs> You're a real angel, Max. <laughs> Max. 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 Oh, Max. 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 Max.
explain this. I can fix it. I can make it better. Think. Think. I killed them. My wife. My baby. I shot them. I buried them under the rose bush in the backyard. I'm sorry. I'm gonna get I'm you. sorry. The one who did I'm this. Sorry. I'm gonna get him. I'm gonna make him pay. Punish him. Make him wish he was never born. Hurt him. I'm gonna kill him. Funny. For a moment there, I forgot who I was. I've been switched. I used to look like this. I thought I was the killer. I thought I was a mobster. I thought I was a cop. I thought I was a patient. I thought... Find out who solved the case. Promise me. Promise me, Pete. Stay true to the badge. Find out who did this. Pete! The cleaners, Annie Finn, Senator Gate, Mr. Corcoran, they were just peripheral noise surrounding the case. Winterson's murder was what it was all about. The cost of passion, my courtship of Mona Sachs, my case, my crime. It wasn't about finding the killer. I was it. It was about looking for a deserving patsy to pin the blame on. Max, she is a murderer. Max, she's after us. She's one of them. Max, it's your duty as a detective. Huh. Duty? That's the best back you can off, do. Back off, pain. Max, stay back. Winterson's phone. Max, dearest of all my friends. Brad? Too Let late, Max. To you are under arrest for murder. I'm doing this for you, Max. A bullet in the head. I can end the pain. Too, amidst the wreckage of your own making. Do you stay there, eyes squeezed shut, afraid to move, hoping to bleed to death? Or do you crawl out, help your loved ones, make sure the fire doesn't spread, try to fix it? This is your final warning. We have surrounded the building. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. All this time, we got the fable of Sleeping Beauty wrong. All units are in position. We are ready to go. The prince didn't kiss her to wake her up. No one who slept for a hundred years is likely to wake up. Okay, people. Get ready to go in. We are gonna hit the place. It was the other way around. He kisses her to wake himself up from the nightmare that has brought him there. hospital earlier tonight. I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer. A cop killer. There are things in life you cannot choose. How you feel. I had lain at the bottom of the hole long enough. Too long. The cleaning company commandos were coming for me. I needed a gun. I needed to get past them. Hope the painkillers were enough to keep me on my feet. You're gonna get it now. How stupid can you get? You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. I'm coming for you. Mr. Payne! Mr. Payne, he's here! Get him! What is it? Ah! Where is he? He isn't in now. 
I'll guard the door. Make sure he doesn't get past us. Hunt him down. Sounds like a plan. Security! Stay where you are! Drop your weapons! You drop it! Ah! Coward. The dead security guard had dropped his gun in the doorway. If I could get to it, I could fight back. Mitchell, anything? I'll get him. Wrong. The deal was to wait half an hour. It's way past that. Benjamin. Ah! construction site I had been ready to give myself in. There would have been no answers, no second chance. Nothing would be fixed. I had to solve the case on my own. Mona was still the answer. I caught glimpses of her out of the corner of my eye, felt her presence everywhere I went. I was trying to trace her path, recreate the winding course of the magic bullet in her head. I couldn't find her. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. The architecture of Alfred Woden's manor had its origins in European darkness along with the inner circle. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you. The only true reason why men fight wars, love. The score on Mona Sachs? Next question. Fine. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. A renegade faction has pushed the society into a civil war. Everyone who resists is assassinated. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnitti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. Vlad had lied. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. I left Woden at the door of his panic room. By talking of fate, Vlad had been asking for my blessing to his plan to murder me. I've been keeping to the backbeat, reacting to Vlad's moves, cleaning up after him. No more. Alert! An intruder in the house! Ten to one is Maggie Payne, coming from the front! Remember me, Sharp? It's Mike! Guess I'm an outlaw after all, eh? Like Billy the Kid! Everybody, get ready! Get your guns! Get him!
Isn't he here yet? What? Can't hear you. Here. He's near? Keep your hands on your ears. It's gonna be a loud bang. What? Hey, you! cleaning company vans, the cleaner jumpsuits, the illegal firearms, the hard evidence that proved Vlad was behind it all. Okay, what's the score? Somebody come in here and tell me, huh? I can still hear gunshots. He's not dead yet. Of course he's not dead yet. The shadow always dies in the end. Well, Payne, I'm here in the boss's office. Come on. I'm waiting! Let's finish this! I know you! Vlad and Mona were on a crash course. If I'd find one, the odds were I'd find the other. Vlad was after Vinny. He had left me a map to follow. You have one new message. Vlad, it's me. Where are you? I need you. I'm on my way to the construction site now. Winterson. I'll do it. I'll take care of them both for you. I don't know. Is this a crime? Is it against the law to be happy? They haven't seen you with my boy. Haven't seen you with me. Miss you. Call me. The gilding on the mask had cracked to reveal the rot underneath. Winterson's confession didn't wash away my guilt. It made me feel worse. I had a meeting scheduled with Vlad at Vinny's place. More cleaners! Waste them! Get them before they get out! Oh. Oh. driving it. One of ours, they're in trouble. We gotta get him out of there. Damn. Kiss it goodbye. You're dead! Not so long ago, the V-tags had bloomed everywhere in the city. Now they only remained in the worst neighborhoods. The monster's grave. Where the hell have you been? What took you so long? Where's the rest of you? You're the reinforcements Vinny promised us, right? Who else? Only it's just me. The cleaners got the rest. God damn it, they're killing us like flies! I guess one extra gun's better than nothing. Okay, let's go!
Oh no! No way! No, Pain, not you! Why does this keep happening to me? Pain, you gotta help me. There's a freaking bomb in here. If I take the head off, it blows. Bye bye, Vinny. You're a freaking cop. You gotta help me. How did this happen? The Russian tricked me. Join the club. I can help you get him. I can. I swear, you get me out of this and I can help you get him. You've got yourself a deal. They're coming to kill me! You gotta protect me! We gotta get out of here! Through the backyard! I didn't buy Vinny's promise to help me, but I was willing to do anything to complicate Vlad's plans. Pain! Cover me! Cover me! We gotta get through there! Pain, what are you waiting for? Don't let them get me! Kill them! Kill them! through the hall to the elevator up to my place. We'll get out through there. Let's go, Pain. Come on, come on, come on. I can't wait for your pain. I gotta get out of here. Hurry up, damn it. worth? I tell you, fucking much. Nothing nerdy about it. I'm a collector. Hey, lots of tough guys are into this stuff. Frankie was into this stuff. He was a fucking tough guy. Hey, just wait till I sell my collection online. Just you wait. Nerd. Hey, let's see who's the nerd when I'm a millionaire. We gotta get out of here somehow. Gotta figure something out. Think, Vinny. Think. Not at all fun way. Vinny needed Mona as much as I did. We'll try to find Mona Sachs. She can disarm the bomb. Are you crazy? She's just as bad as the Russian. She's part of the same fucking crew. You're delusional. I was desperate enough to look for Mona at the fun house. I got a bad feeling about this. Max, dearest of all my friends, drop your gun or the bomb goes. I had a bomb ticking in my head. No amount of painkillers would disable it. 
Vlad and his men left after they were done with Vinny and me. I don't know how Mona came to be there. I can only speculate. It's clear that she was after Vlad. Max. She must have gotten there after he had left. Otherwise, he'd have been dead, and she wouldn't have come after me. She came to get me through the fire. Vlad had terminated Vinny's tragicomic existence with the push of a button. Ouch. Poor guy. Poor bastard. Max. She found me where Vlad had left me lying in a pool of blood on her floor. Max, come on. Time to wake up. Death is inevitable. Our fear of it makes us play safe, blocks out emotion. It's a losing game. Without passion, you're already dead. It's all a matter of perspective, tied to time and place. Love and friendship, life and death. Vlad had led me to Mona's apartment at gunpoint. Just missed you at Vodka and at Vinny's. Third time is the charm. We can't get him up here. The head is too big to fit through the door. Let Vinny stay in the funhouse. That's where he belongs. I'll get to him in a moment. Ironic, isn't it? What is? How you fell for the killer working for the man who got your family killed. Love is blind. Everything is subjective. Choices, answers, good and evil. Woden sent the Project Valhalla file to the DA to put a scare on him. Your family paid the price. Mona is like me, just in the opposite camp, killing the society members allied with me. How funny is that? I hate to do this, but you know how you are. You would never let it go. Einstein was right. Time is relative to the observer. When you're looking down the barrel of a gun, time slows down. Your whole life flashes by, heartbreak and scars. Stay with it, and you can live a lifetime in that split second. Besides, a gentleman always avenges the insults done to his lady. You did kill Wintersome. <laughs> In the dream, I was an invisible ghost, hovering outside my body. Detective Payne, the boss is already here. He's waiting for you inside. Hope you haven't had your lunch yet. This one's bad. A crime of passion. This one's yours, Payne. You're the only one who could solve it. A bullet it. in the head. The killer's looking for an answer, but he's looking for it in the wrong place. He should be looking for it in his own head. The suspect is ready for a lineup. You should hurry, Payne, or you'll miss him. Oh! His heart broke. Damn it, we're losing him. Give him hope. Six milligrams. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing. Go again. 300. 300. Charge. Clear. Clear. Nothing. Doctor, again, once more, 350, charge. Clear. Clear. Still nothing. <sighs> Lost him. Time of death, 2.30 a.m. NYPD, drop the gun. What are you gonna do about it, pal? We're all guilty of something if you look hard enough. forgiven. We would make a brilliant couple. I am the king, and you could be my queen. In your dreams. See? 
We are nothing but a one-armed bandit. Get her! Get the bitch! Max, come on. Time to wake up. That won't help a thing. The bullet in my head brought me to you. Max, come on. Time to wake up. She was beautiful. I hated her for making me feel this way. Now that I was with her, I was reluctant to hear her answers. You okay? Vlad was headed to Woden's Manor. <sighs> Don't be stupid. You're not in shape to go anywhere. You'll die. I don't care. This isn't your fight, Max. You can walk away. I'm asking you. I didn't deserve to walk away. There are no happy endings. You're coming with me. It was too late. I couldn't trust her. Not before I had seen this through. Vlad was right. There are no choices. Nothing but a straight line. The illusion comes afterwards. When you ask, why me? And what if? When you look back, see the branches, like a pruned bonsai tree, or a forked lightning. If you had done something differently, it wouldn't be you. It would be someone else looking back, asking a different set of questions. Showtime. I'll go down first. Cover me from here. I'll climb down. No, stay there. I'll take the first floor, you take the second. Okay. I'm not sure I can... Incoming! Deeper into the building, look for Woden or Vlad. All right.
Dearest of all my friends, I wouldn't have it any other way. I'm so glad we are together in this. Yes, sir. Woden and the Gold are in the panic room. All we need to do is get in. There is no rush. It's not like they are going anywhere. The explosives are in place, sir. We are going to make a beautiful exit. Woden's bodyguards had betrayed him and joined Vlad. There was still time. They hadn't gotten to him yet. The panic room was at the back of the manor. It's Saxon Payne. They're already inside. They're extremely dangerous. We need to stop them before... Mona was still on the case. in his panic room at the back of the manor. It's up ahead. See you there. Here, let me. This way. Mona knew the manor. She was working for Woden. Vlad had told me the truth. Mona, wait. Stop. This is love. When someone drags you from the wreckage when you have given in, ready to just lie there and die. I told you not to come here. It's my job to clear up this mess and you're a part of it. Throw away your guns. This is love. When someone, no matter what the cost, shows you there is hope, a choice, that you can put down your gun. See? I can't do it. You're a bastard, Max. This is love. Love hurts. I was so looking forward to you two killing each other. Ah, oh, you can't have everything. I had been here before. Ground Zero. You are making me look incompetent by refusing to die. Stop. I am sorry. Enough! A bomb went off in my head. The bullet lodged in my brain moved to fatal, microscopic distance. The killing has gone too far. I have only begun. It's better to reign in hell than serve in heaven. You flatter yourself. Demented fool! I felt the rise of that old familiar feeling. I hated it. I welcomed it. Everything was clear again. No more ambiguities, no more questions. No gun when you need one. <coughs> one last thing left to do. I was compelled to give Vlad his gun back. One bullet at a time. We can still kiss and make up Max. It's good that the women are out of the way. They only complicate matters. Take cover! Keep you in, of the course. The panic room! To the panic room! They're gonna blow!
Hey, you! yourself even a little. Face it, you might as well be dead already. Do yourself a favor, give up! Hey! I'm just not sure I can go through with this. You have one new message. I'm coming to kill you, old man. You really know how to piss me off, you know. Would it have killed you to say thank you for once in your life? To say, Vlad, my son. Can I call you my son? Because I sure do love you like one. Vlad, my son. You are a true prodigy. Everything you touch turns to gold. Oh, wait. It is going to kill you. I'm done doing your dirty work for you. You should be proud. I have learned all you've taught me. I'm coming to show you. Fanatical about these things, Max. One of these days, it's going to get you kicked. is 
is here! That was... <coughs> Max, dearest of all my friends, I was supposed to be the hero. Your only chance is to turn around and face it. But it's like kissing the lips of your dead love. Darkness waiting in the hole of the mouth. We are willing to suffer. To die for the things we care about. For love, for the right choices. Because of her, I had solved the case, my case, all of it, who I am. It's gonna be all right. Uh, <laughs> God, I turned out to be such a damsel in distress. She was dead. The bullet in her head had come to the end of its slow motion journey. Stay sharp. We're going in. Go, go, go! It is almost morning, waking up from the American dream. Jesus! My God! What the hell went on in here? They are all dead. Now, like all my loves, she is mine forever. She has brought me here to this moment of clarity where time slows down and I choose to look back to see myself. And in that act of seeing, I am reborn. Down here, this way, there! Easy. Oh my God. He's got a live one here! Detective Payne? He's still alive! We need a medic in here, now! He's still alive! I had a dream of my wife. She was dead. But it was all right. <laughs>